Yeah, I know the render's not the cleanest and it's a Phillips shaver. But if it was a brawn, it'd be perfect to shave your lawn. I don't know. I'm an idiot. And I missed the spot. So we're going to be doing some weight painting now. You might find some use for it into the future. We did cover it once upon a time with a shield. Um, but at the moment, as you can see, I've subdivided the heck out of this plane because we need all that data for the um, weight painting to work. So I'm going to press N. I'm just going to go into Geo Scatter, and we're going to use Botanica. Let's just slap on some grass. Oh no, sorry, I'm using Grass Blade at the moment. So Golf Grass. We'll just import that in. Perfect. Let's just get rid of that. It's giving us a very nice grass now. Next thing is we need our shaver, and I'm just going to use a cube for now. So let's go G to the Y, and let's just leave it as is. Let's go into the Physics tab, Dynamic Paint. This is going to be our brush, Add Brush, now Volume Mesh. Now Volume Mesh means that anything that the mesh touches in terms of vertices, that's where it's going to paint on a different color. Let's go mesh and proximity, just so it goes a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go 0.25, just so it's a little bit bigger there. And I don't think we need to change anything else. Next, we need to actually select our canvas. So let's go into dynamic paint. We want a canvas. Add canvas. Very simple. From here, what we need to do is we need to add it into our vertex groups because our vertex groups is what controls what's being projected. Now, this is the exact same thing as using the particle effect, uh, particle stuff, particles. However, because I'm using GeoScatter, we're going to be using it within here. So back into this, let's come down. We're going to be surface. Our format is going to be vertex. Surface type is going to be weights. Now we've got an output here of the vertex group. Let's add that. So now when we come back into vertex group, you can see that we've got DP weight. Now I do have a previous tutorial around painting kind of like a shield, as I mentioned before. Uh, I'll link that in the description somewhere if you want to go check that out. But for now, technically, if I were to press nothing, because it's not going to work, let's go into GeoScatter. Cull mask, vertex group, DP weights on both, like so. And so now when I press play and we go G and I go shift D, we should be deleting stuff. Sick.